today i am going to discuss about causes of poverty and measures to reduce poverty and you know that poverty is the basic economic problems so we have to think about the measures to reduce poverty welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management so first of all see the main factors to create poverty or you can say causes of poverty lack of education large scale import division of agriculture land moral culture government policies corruption privatization our population unemployment low and order increase in utility charges inflation imposition of taxes non productive expenditures landlordism backward infrastructure so these are the different causes of poverty now let's see one by one so let's start from the lack of education the literacy rate of country is very low particularly in india most of people do not have any concept about the modern earning sources most people are unable to adapt technology for their business needs that's why business does not meet international standards results as decrease in revenue which leads the society to poor financial conditions next large scale import the import of country is greater than export in india big revenue is consumed in importing goods every year even raw material has to import for the industry if we decrease import and establish own supply chains from our natural resources in the country the people will have better opportunities to earn next division of agricultural land if country is agriculture country then most of people are farmers by profession one has land which is fulfilling the needs of his family but he has to divide the land into his children when they got young after division the land is not sufficient to support a family now the families of his children are suffering and spending their lives below poverty line next moral culture the main reason for poverty is the social dishonesty and irresponsible behavior of people everyone is trying to get rich by using unfair means a shopkeeper is ready to get whole money from the pocket of customer people doing jobs are not performing their duties well in society the man considered brave or respectful who do not pay taxes or continuously violate the laws this irresponsible behavior continuously increases and produces loss for the country and that leads to poverty now next government policies government is not well aware of present condition of the country sometime the policies of government are based on the suggestion of the officials which do not have awareness about the problems of a common man after implementation the policies do not get effective result after the failure of one policy government does not consider its failure and announces another policy without studying the reasons of failure of last one so the people are forced to live below poverty line 
नेक्स्ट करप्शन एवरी वन इज ट्राइंग टू अर्न मोर एंड मोर बाई यूजिंग फेयर एंड अनफेयर मीन्स वन हैज टू पे हैवी कॉस्ट टू गेट इज राइट Justice can be bought by money only, but government is unable to control such type of things. In this whole scenario, some corrupt people has been occupying the resources, and common man is living in miserable conditions. Next, privatization. Government is unable to manage the departments. and the country has low reserve assets so some companies run by government are sold to foreign investors therefore the services provided by the companies are becoming costly for example if government sold a gas plant then prices for gas in country rises and once again that leads to poverty next overpopulation if the growth rate of population is very high leads to overpopulation with limited resources it is very difficult to control the growing population the massively increasing population has almost faster than the resources in production facilities and in job opportunities next unemployment unemployment is big problem for developing country thousands of young doctors engineers and other educated people are out of job there are no opportunities for youth to utilize their ability in right direction in this way rate of poverty increases next low and order there are lot of problems regarding low and order especially for under developed country or undeveloped country terrorist attacks create uncertainty in stock markets and people earning from stocks are getting loss due to which the whole country faces uncertain increase in commodity prices next increase in utility charges if utility charges like water gas electricity telephone bills etc are increasing day by day leads to poverty more utility charges lead to reduction in the saving of population and its result is poverty next inflation high rate of inflation is also one of the reason for poverty due to inflation much amount of money is not enough to purchase much amount of goods and services inflation decreases the savings and investments of poor people so that they remain poor next imposition of taxes government has to impose taxes to raise its revenue but imposition of more taxes reduces the income of people and poverty increases next non productive expenditures government has to do a lot of unproductive expenditures on social heads and to make strong defense these high expenditures are also one of the reason of poverty landlordism big landlords control whole economy they have no sense of social welfare in government they forces to take those actions which are in their professional interest next backward infrastructure non availability or availability of backward infrastructure is also an additional reason of poverty low level of education backward state of technology poor health inefficiency of labor and poor system of transportation and communication 
are cause in poverty. These entire things create no attraction for investment. Now it's turn to reduce the poverty. So next question is measures to reduce poverty. And these are the main actions or you can say measures to reduce poverty. Ensuring resources for poor by empowering the poor equal access over markets, increasing agriculture, development in construction, role of microfinance, health facilities, poverty eliminating programs, education, population controlling, development of agricultural land. So these are the different measures to reduce poverty. Now let's see one by one. First, ensuring resources for poor. The government should think to allocate more resources to the poor. Next, by empowering the poor. The key to overcoming poverty is to empower the poor to get better access over markets, governance and the institutions that provide public services such as healthcare, education and justice. Equal access over markets. The new survey evidence shows that the poor loss as much as one third of their income due to unequal access over input and output markets and extortions by the local administration. Next, increasing agriculture. Focus should be given to boost agriculture to reduce poverty. It is recommended that incentives and subsidies should be given to the farmers to produce more output. Next, development in construction. The construction industry is the driving force of an economy because it accommodates skill, semi-skill and unskilled workforce or you can say labor person and contributes more to uplift economy. Next, role of microfinance. The role of microfinance should be strengthened. The poor use financial services not only for business purpose but also invest in health and education to manage household emergencies. Next, health facilities. Due to the inadequacy of the government's health facilities, as many as 85% of the poor has go to private medical practitioners for the treatment. So he has to pay more money, thus it leads to poverty. Next, poverty eliminating programs. Targeted poverty alleviation programs such as nutritional programs for children, employment generation through infrastructure development projects, etc. are helpful to reduce poverty. Next, education. Education is considered a key to reduce poverty. So, focus should be given to increase literacy rate by education people could understand what is better and what is harm to them. Next, population controlling growth. Rate of population must be controlled because due to increasing population, poverty rate increases. Next, development of agriculture land. Government should develop agriculture sector. Government should also provide loans to poor farmers on easy basis. If you want to see more videos, then subscribe my YouTube channel and go to playlist. Thanks my dear friends. Press the like button to appreciate this video.